Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. As you can see, we are doing a full holiday glam. It's holiday season, December. Christmas is literally around the corner. So I wanted to bring you a full holiday glamorous look. For those of you that do want to glam up a little bit and do something nice, this is something that I've brought for you guys and I'm about to nip out anyway. So wanted to glam up as well for the holiday season. But yeah, if you are new here, I just want to welcome you. If you are not already subscribed, what are you doing? Please make sure you click that subscribe button down below. Do give this video a thumbs up as well and yeah let's just get right into it all righty then we begin with a blank clean face and you know what it is eyebrows first as per usual the makeup revolution soap styler which i've pretty much been using every time i do my eyebrows i did already give you guys my thoughts and my opinions in a previous video so if you've not seen that then be sure to check it out milk hydro grip I'm going to prep my eyelids using the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base in the shade Medium. So the first one is going to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette which was in collaboration with Jackie Aina. I'm going to first go into the shade Ginger which is this shade at the bottom here and I'm just going to apply that in my crease area. The second eyeshadow palette I'm going to use today is the Tammy Clark Revolution Carnival palette. Haven't used this in a while but definitely has the colours that I want to use today. So I'm just going to go ahead with that orange shade and just basically apply that right on top of the colour that I've just applied. Just very little. We don't need too much but I do want a little bit more of an orange. Oh gosh this orange is <laughs> more pigmented than I thought. Well damn. Well, damn, I just, I think I underestimated these shadows because it's been a while, but blimey, okay, that is quite a lot. Right, the next shade I'm going to use is this matte red shade here, and I'm just going to apply that below that shade that I put on earlier. Ooh, it's been a while since I've used this, so actually kind of forgot how good this palette was and i'm literally just gonna blend it slightly onto the outer lid and also bring it in as well and then i'm gonna go back with that other brush that i used earlier just to blend out the edges okay so i just went in with the jackie Aina eyeshadow palette again and i'm using this red shade called wigglies at the bottom here holiday glam i mean the colors that come to mind are just green red olive bit of gold bronzy shades just a bit of me really right i'm gonna go back into the jackie Aina palette and use this shade called zam and i'm gonna apply that with my finger there you go that's pretty much what i'm looking for just a touch of it because it is quite a chunky um glittery eyeshadow so literally just a wash of that but still with the red coming through okay i'm not too sure what else i want to do to my eyes so i'm going to go ahead with my foundation and hopefully that will give me a bit of guidance for my foundation i'm going to use my nars natural radiant longwear foundation and i'm going to use the shade macau two pumps of that but i'm going to go ahead and put new caledonia around my mouth first just one pump because last time I put two pumps which was way too much. So I want to try out the shade Macau. Usually I always mix it with a drop of New Caledonia but let's just see. I don't know if it's going to be a solid match. Okay well let's blend it out and have a look. If it's not then I will just go back in with New Caledonia. I did want to get the shade Marquesis. But because I have like a full bottle of Macau, I just thought I'd wait until this runs out. Oh my gosh, it actually looks pretty good. I mean, I always match to my chest, as I say in most of my videos. Macau actually looks pretty good, so I'm not mad about that at all. If I just move back a little bit, you can see. Oh, so I do have hyperpigmentation on my neck as well. But if I just sit up a little bit, and if you have a look at my chest, and there 
looks like a pretty good match but let's just finish blending off and let the foundation settle and then we can see the actual true 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 shade if it oxidizes or not etc etc so i'm just going to keep applying my cow on my face really don't need too much i've actually noticed that i find myself going in with a little bit less foundation nowadays less is definitely more for me nowadays but um yeah obviously if i do want to add a bit more coverage then i will go ahead and do that this is going to be my third pump of um macau but obviously nars even though it does spread really well the foundation pumps are really really small so okay so i've just finished applying macau pretty much in all of this region here and i think pretty good match to my chest area as you can see so i think macau actually does work for me i was sort of figuring out what my exact match would be in nas foundation i've noticed that the macau in um, natural radiant is a little tiny bit deeper than the macau in sheer glow so that's why it threw me off a little bit macau in sheer glow is a little bit lighter than me and then macau natural radiant is my exact match as it appears you guys can see so i think i'm actually going to leave my eyes the way they are i'm literally just gonna go back in here with that red shade that I used from the Carnival palette just to bring it out a little bit more because I feel like it did get a little bit blended too much okay so I'm just gonna quickly contour I'm gonna use my Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer in the shade C15 this has a bit more full coverage and we are doing a full glam today so I did want to go in with this it's so easy for me to over apply this so i'm literally just going to leave that as it is and just go in with a brush and start blending i'm literally just going to pick up whatever was there and just apply in this area because it's so easy to go overboard with this i am going to go over it with a beauty sponge just to make sure it is blended seamlessly but it's just a little bit easier to go in with a brush first so what i'm going to do is go ahead and put my first layer of highlighter and the first layer i'm going to use is the Too faced born this way multi sculpting concealer in the shade chestnut so i'm going to let the under eyes sit for a little bit i am going to go in with another concealer on top but i'm going to start off blending around my mouth first I'm now going to add a touch of butterscotch again in the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is going to give me a bit more of a brighter under eye. I mainly put it where that dip area is because otherwise I'm going to be looking real tired. And to be honest today I am actually quite tired. But just in this area to add a touch of brightness. And I'm just going to put a little bit down my nose. And literally that much on my forehead this is my favorite part of makeup highlighting and contouring i'm all about the base i think my favorite part of applying makeup is definitely the base foundation concealer bronzing and contouring i just love a good base so i really do like to take my time when i'm doing this okay pretty happy with how that's looking so i'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes with the laura messier honey powder Before I set the other highlighted areas, I do want to do a bit of cooking. So I'm actually going to do a mini bake. So I'm going to use the original Laura Mercier translucent powder ever so slightly right under my eyes. Again, I always tap off the excess. Okay, I'm now just going to remove this bakeage under my eyes first. really didn't do too much so it's not going to be like super dry or cakey to bronze i'm going to use my charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless powder in the shade tan using a big fluffy brush i'm going to take an even fluffier brush and i'm just going to use the airbrush flawless finish powder by charlotte tilbury in the shade tan just to kind of brush over the highlighted areas and I'm only really just taking a little bit literally just a little bit and the reason why I'm using a really fluffy brush is because it's going to be really gentle and soft and it's really not going to apply too much pressure or do too much so just here just want my skin to look nice and flawless which is why I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's powders cover up some of those hairs on my top lip or smooth them out guys i'm so annoyed i've just realized that i've got this faulty battery that i've been using in my camera because i have two batteries 
and basically the battery um, died and it cut off and I just thought let me just quickly check my memory card to see what clip was there and it's just erased the whole clip that I've done my eyeliner my top lash line my lower lash line I'm so sorry but I'm so annoyed I'm not gonna be using that battery anymore but pretty much all you've missed is that I've just added a little bit of black I'm just gonna quickly put my lashes on and then we can move right on okay for my blusher I'm gonna use my Becca Maui Nights bronzer which looks like this and I mentioned in my previous video that it was too warm for me to use as a bronzer but it's great for me to use as a blusher so I'm gonna put a bit of this there I'm actually gonna put quite a fair bit to be honest oh it's so easy for me to go nude which is really what I always do but I want to switch it up a little bit haven't worn Mac Ruby Woo in so long can't think of anything else that I want to add on so I'm just gonna spray my face with my cooling water mist okay guys so this is the finished look decided to just flip my hair over to the side do a little something i think this hair really suits this makeup look the makeup look is a full glam holiday look and i think this hair is giving me glam vibes so yeah i'm really happy with how this came out i did decide to add a touch of highlighter in my inner tear ducts and i really like the way it's come out so yeah this is a full holiday glams for those of you that love to glam up a little bit but i will be having a soft one coming out for those of you that are probably not comfortable with this kind of look maybe this look is a little bit too bold for you i've got you i have got you so yeah that's it from me guys really hope you enjoyed this video do give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you are not already and of course i hope to see you in my next video bye